Hey, what is up guys, it's Jagged Jones from Breach Gaming, and I'm here using my new Audio Technica 182020 uh, uh, mic, so I hope this is a good enough mic for you guys to hear me clearly. So, first of all, we're going to start off with three games, Titanfall, Battlefield 4, and Call of Duty Ghosts. Three big names out there in the first person uh, shooter franchise. So, let's start off with the first that I believe was to release, Call of Duty Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghosts has pretty big maps, and it was kind of weird for the Call of Duty fans to buy Call of Duty Ghosts and have these huge maps, essentially, compared to the previous Call of Duty maps, and they didn't know if they liked it or not. They were kind of like, eh, it's alright, and then some of them were just like, no, this is the worst Call of Duty ever, and I think it was only had like the 4.3% of votes for the best Call of Duty ever. But then the DLC came out, and I think the DLC kind of brought it back. The DLC was just like the old maps, it was awesome, it was epic, and the new guns, uh, the Maverick was pretty much terrible, but who cares, you know, because you got the, you got uh, all the new maps, and then you got the new Extinction, Nightfall. So, basically, I think that Call of Duty Ghost was a very good game in the end with the DLC with the Extinction, which was basically a bunch of aliens running around on all fours trying to kill you with you shooting them. Uh, and it's kind of like ghosts, I mean not ghosts, but um, zombies in previous games. So, I liked that. And then there's also the single player campaign. And everybody knows that Call of Duty is all about single player campaigns. And I thought that the beginning of Ghosts was, had a good storyline, was uh, intriguing, and probably developed the story very well. But I never play Call of Duty campaign, so that's for you guys to form your own opinion on. And... Basically in Call of Duty you have kill streaks, perks, kill streaks. Every few kills you get, you know, you get to call in a helicopter, a dog, whatever you want uh, that's available. A juggernaut maniac, which is essentially some guy in armor running around with only a knife. And then you have the perks, which sometimes will it'll give you steady aim. It'll make it so players can't hear you when you're walking around. It's basically very little slight changes that together make a huge impact improvement of your gaming skill and that is what we'll leave off with Call of Duty for now and let's go into Battlefield 4 the second one to release as far as I can remember I don't know if that's correct or not but anyway Battlefield 4 is all about how amazing the game looks how awesome the game as a multiplayer was the campaign nobody really talks about Battlefield 4 campaign nobody really cares about Battlefield 4 campaign they just play it if they have I guess no internet connection I don't know what you're gonna do with Battlefield 4 if you don't have multiplayer so basically multiplayer on Battlefield 4 is supposed to be really really intense as in you have parachutes and unlike Call of Duty you have these vehicles that you can constantly control unlike Call of Duty you have a little kill streak that you can call in there but while on Battlefield 4 you have a gigantic helicopter that you're constantly shooting people down with and you have three people piloting it at once. That is pretty intense. That's a lot of things that other first person shooters are not. But there's a cost. One, can your computer handle that? Your computer might not be able to handle that. If you have an Xbox 360, Xbox One, then of course they'll be able to handle that because that's what it's built for. But if you're a PC gamer, I don't know if your computer's going to be able to handle that because it's got these just great, greatly improved graphics and then it's got these gigantic maps and there's not only gigantic maps but you can you can put it to smaller maps and that would be squad deathmatch essentially almost the exact same thing as Kobe's team deathmatch except there is no uh... there's no kill streaks and no perks so that's pretty much only run and gun or snipe that's all you're going to be doing in squad deathmatch and that's what you see me doing in the gameplay on the top right, which is better for four, and if you guys didn't know, then the top left would be Call of Duty Ghosts, and the bottom middle would be Titanfall. Now, let's go ahead and get into Titanfall. Titanfall is basically only online, there's no single player campaign, guess what there is for single players? Tutorial. Yeah, man, that's pretty sick anyway. Uh, yeah, we got the tutorial, man. Uh, we have campaign, that is online multiplayer. Sounds like a great idea, but what happens if their servers get less and less popular over time, and it starts going down and down 
and yeah, then you have no campaign. And it develops the story very shallowly, in my perspective. And it's not a huge thing to you know go on YouTube and upload uh, Titanfall campaign part number one through three. You know, I have like 26 views on each one because it's not a huge thing. The campaign is basically for the for the for the player to have fun, not for the viewer to be uh, judging it by the characters. So let's just say the campaign, if you're looking for a storyline, is terrible. And uh, I'm I'm I mean like terrible as in con comparing it to like Uncharted 3 or something. But if you're just looking to have some fun, it's great. I mean, get it, pick it up, and let's get into the actual gameplay now. The gameplay is, I'd say, probably the best first-person shooter gameplay I've seen in a while. It doesn't have the longest-lasting appeal, and I would say the longest-lasting appeal would probably be Ghosts. But it has a lot of intense things. And now you, you might be thinking, well, Titans might be, you know, totally overpowered, and Titans are pretty much cheap. No, they're not. You can upgrade your Titan to fight other Titans or kill other players, but the thing is there's never going to be a game where you're the only Titan walking around and you're destroying everybody because that just doesn't work. There's always Titan to Titan combat and you can run away from a Titan all you want, but you're going to get destroyed eventually. And players have one advantage of Titans that, that Titans don't have, and that's jumping on the backs of the Titan and just firing right into their control system, which is a really cool thing that they added in Titanfall. So, first off, Titans are not overpowered. Second of all, uh, how I think that Titanfall compares with Call of Duty and Battlefield 4. I think that it has the kind of perkish style of Call of Duty and the vehicle style of Battlefield 4. And why I'm saying this is because, like a tank, you have in Battlefield 4, you have a gigantic Titan in Titanfall. And then instead of these... Um, perks you have in Call of Duty, you have these cards that can be activated once every life, three times a game. But you have to unlock the cards and earn them to use them every game. And it's not hard, it's not a hard thing to earn them, but it's, and it's not hard to conserve them either, but I think that those things really put a big thing in Titanfall. And I used, used thing way too much right there. But Basically, some examples are you can hack into the multiplayer AI, which is in Titanfall, because the AI is a big contribution in Titanfall. So, in these huge maps where you're, you're seeing me run around doing parkour, I'm not only killing actual people, I'm killing also AI. And that's, it. that's another big thing about Titanfall, is you're killing AI. And you can hack into AI, or you can display the enemy's AI on your screen, or you can put an amped up weapon, you can make it so you have instant access to your Titan, all kinds of stuff that you can do in Titanfall. And lastly, what I want to uh, say about Titanfall is there's this little thing where you press Q on the keyboard, I don't know what you do with the Xbox remote, but basically it gives you either a cloak or certain abilities, mine is uh, faster regen and running, and that's just a little ability to, that you can activate, and I guess it's supposed to be futuristic. And uh, another thing about Titanfall is there's very limited classes, and there's no really real customization as in there was in Call of Duty. So it's more limited and even less limited than Battlefield 4 was. So really, you're very limited, but we don't know what's going to be included in the DLC for um, Titanfall yet. So we don't really know what's going to be going on with Titanfall. But there might be, ex you know, expansions on or expansions on the Titanfall Titans, the classes the, for, as far as the pilots go, and we don't know what's going to be going on with that. And if you couldn't tell, I have a little jetpack strapped to me in Titanfall. All players have that, so that's a pretty cool thing. And basically, I think that the winner of this would probably be Call of Duty Ghosts because it's a, it's a lasting appeal. It might not have all the nice and you know shiny things that. Battlefield has, or the huge barbaric titans that Titanfall has, but it has just a, such a a uh, rich multiplayer base that is re very respectable, and I think that overall Titanfall is probably going to tie with Battlefield 4, but we don't know until we see the DLC for Titanfall. But my number one, I don't know about you guys, you, you guys tell me in the comments, 
But my number one was definitely Call of Duty Ghosts after I saw the campaign. I mean, not the campaign, but I always see that. I say that. Not the campaign, but the DLC. So, that's how I see it. I think Call of Duty was a winner, but I don't think that you shouldn't pick up Battlefield 4 or Titanfall because those games were definitely worth the buy and I enjoyed them very much. That's all I have to say. If you like this video a lot, then subscribe. If you just liked it, then at least leave a like and if you want to, just go ahead and comment. I try to respond to anything because I hardly get any comments anyway. I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.